we're going to start with our yarn and this time we're using a smaller hook. This is the J crochet hook or six millimeter. And we begin with our slip knot. And we're going to chain five. So this first stitch on the hook is considered one. So that's two, three, four, five. Now we're going to slip stitch into the very first. So we're going to slip stitch to form a ring and we're going to slip stitch into the very first chain that we had, pulling the yarn, wrapping it around first and pulling it through that chain and now through the loop on our hook. And I want to show you, let me show you that a little clearer because you've got this connecting thread right here. You see how that is our working yarn? So as we go through that first chain and wrap around, you need to go underneath that to find your center. So it's underneath that connecting working yarn. And that's how you find your center. You stick your finger in there and adjust it down exactly like the way the, the uh, triangle begins. The next step is we're going to chain three. So that's considered our first, second, third, and now we're going to do 15 double crochets into the center of the ring. So that's one. And remember to use your tail or trap it in following it around the shape of the ring as you double crochet to trap it in. So we've got one double crochet, we need 15. That's two. Three. Four. You see how we're starting to form our circle? Fourteen. And that's fifteen. And now we're back to our chain three and we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain to finish this row off. So going just through the top chain, wrapping your yarn around and pulling it through, pulling it through. So that's the first ring in our circle. And now I change colors. In order to change colors, we're going to take our new color and just pull up your last loop on the old color and we're just going to pull this one through, through the center of that loop, making sure we have a tail. Now we're going to pull down the tail on the green and close that down so that now the white is our working loop. And then we're just going to cut our green yarn, cut that and begin working with the white. So now we have the white end that we just joined in and the green tail that we just cut off from the old color. And we're going to chain up three. So this first loop is one, two, three. The next step is to double crochet in the same stitch. So let's find the same hole. You can pull it apart to kind of see where it should go. We're going to go right in there and we're going to double crochet. Now we're going to do two double crochet in every stitch. So we're increasing the stitches so that our, our circle gets larger. So two double crochet in every stitch around.
we're back to our chain three and we're going to go into that top loop and slip stitch so now you can finish it there if you think that's a large enough polka dot or circle that you'd like to use um, I'm going to continue on and do one more round in the blue so we're just going to change colors again same way where you just pull up that loop and we're going to put this one in the middle and hold this down pull it down tight so now that this blue is our working yarn or the loop that we're going to begin working with so let's cut the white off and begin with the blue so on this round this is the third round we're going to chain up three this is being the first second third now we're going to do two double crochets in the next chain so this is considered the first one that we just did so let's do two double crochets and that's one one, two, and then one double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochets in the next one. And one double crochet in the next. So you just keep alternating with two double crochets in one stitch and then one double crochet in the next one. So now we'll look back to the two double crochets. And the next one is a one double crochet. And keep working your way all the way around. So this is the end of this turquoise blue row and we're going to, we're back to the chain three, we're going to slip stitch into the top chain and the way you finish off every crochet pattern um, is you're going to just cut it off and you pull that through the loop and tighten it down so that it knots it down. Then you just take that tail and you're going to weave it in.